Hey, good morning. Early morning. I'm going to try the Fine Marvel Razor. Fine Accoutrements makes it. It is a Zamac razor as far as I know. Uh, zinc alloy, that sort of thing. Um, sometimes they can uh, uh, corrode on you or if you drop them, sometimes the, uh, the, the junction here between head and handle will, will break. Um, however, if you treat them right, they can last you a whole lifetime. Um, they're usually less expensive. Uh, some people do go for the uh, brass or the stainless steel razors just to have something a little stronger. Uh, today's brush is a Finest from Sterling. And the rest of the products today are from Sterling. Uh, we're in the Lather Games, as you may know, and I believe this is day four. And today's day is cologne dupes or, uh, you know, soaps that smell like uh, popular colognes that are out there. And there are a good many to choose from. Uh, Sterling Mountain Man is one of my favorite. Uh, uh, what, Silver Mountain Water or something like that is the cologne it's based off of. Uh, you know, Sharp Dressed Man is based off of Green Irish Tweed, a classic cologne. Um, executive Man is, is based off of Creed's Aventus, and those are my top three that I just really enjoy just about any time I want to, to shave. Um, I'm going to put my brush back in the water. I've had it soaking for several hours inadvertently, um, but I think these tips, they, they're starting to hook a little bit, and so I believe that uh, if I want a the smoothness on the first pass, that I also get from the third pass, then I think a longer soak than the three minutes or so that I usually do um, for badgers is, is probably necessary, so I'm a little longer. So the sterling brush, oh, the handle there was craving shading. We'll look at that a little bit more. I really like it. it's nice and long. Sterling, Responders for Life. Um, this is a special soap that was made uh, for a kind of charity benefit um, the uh, South Florida Wet Shavers, I believe, and they made it available to the public during a limited run, and so I grabbed some. It is the scent, the cologne it's modeled after is Tom Ford's Gray Vetiver. I really, really like that scent. It's understated, and I believe it's pretty much a classic. I really enjoy it. It is uh, a mild scent, not something that's going to overwhelm. And I th uh, this soap particularly renders it in a mild way. Uh, a lot of soaps at that strength, I'll pass on to other folks, but I think this particular scent uh, does work really well, mild. It's just, uh, just, just it works with its whole shtick. Uh, Pole Silver is going to be the blade that's in the razor, and it has had about 14 shaves. So today is number 15, it looks like. All right, I think we're ready to load up some soap. The usual uh, Quintero shave bowl, that uh, 3D printable. The designs are via a link in the video if you have access to a 3D printer. I think it's a great shave bowl. Uh, hard water is what we're working with today and it's cold. So we will take I scooped it last time. I haven't had the enjoyment of using this one very much. Just got so many good soaps. And since I also had the aftershave with this soap, I thought it was a great one to bring out on today for the lather games. Oh yeah, that's just nice. All right, so we've uh, shaken most of the water out of the badger and we'll do a 40 second load just in case starting at 20, so we'll stop at the zero mark. With this brush, actually, a 30, 30 second load will probably be fine, but why not? Let's go for 40, just for grins. Sometimes a soap will have a uh, almost a bit of a shell on it, a, a thick coating that you have to kind of break through. Um, I don't know if Sterling is like that. I've never really had a problem with it. Um, except for once. Three more seconds. There we go. 
So 40 seconds of lather. Looks like this. All right. Yeah, vetiver obviously. Some woody notes as well. Now the Tom Ford description said there was maybe a little citrus in there too. I don't know if they did try to put some citrus in this one. So, kind of work the pace just a little bit. Some people have a problem with sterling soaps. Um, I don't really know why. They just pretty much generally always work well for me. Maybe they're expecting the lather to come together really fast. Pretty sure there's lots of face lathers out there who just kind of go with it. So. Nice long handle on this uh, craving shaving brush. I really enjoy it. I uh, was able to order the handle by itself without a knot in it so that I can, because I specifically had it in mind for two different 26 millimeter knots that I was interested in putting together. And I'm glad that I chose the sterling knot for this one. I had to bust the sterling knot out of the handle it was in, and it was glued in nicely. So there was a uh, there was a lot of Dremel work to clean up the base. It was used uh, sterling. Apparently, does not use silicone to affix their knots. They're going for a very permanent solution with epoxy, some type of glue adhesive like that, which is fine, of course, except for folks like me who change those knots out sometimes so this is a pretty dense badger knot my uh, golden nib whip dog frank shaving silver tips are, are not nearly this dense and so this one doesn't splay quite as well as those other guys um, I'm also this brush I used and uh, when I glued it up the first time um, I thought maybe that I had used I had not used a spacer when I should have because it was a little, maybe a little bit too much backbone because of all that density and so I yanked out the knot which is easy to do because I used silicone to do it yanked out the knot and uh, put a plastic washer in the handle here. Glued that in, then I glued the knot in again. Didn't use enough silicone, and so my first use of the new lofted, higher lofted knot, it kind of came loose. So this is my first use of it with using more glue. It's all cured up now. smell is nice it's coming up to me from the, from the bowl I like that yeah I think we're ready to go slick a little bit of cushion a little bit of viscosity all right splash some water on my face again This razor is on loan from a uh, fellow shaver. We kind of exchanged razors for a little bit. So this is my first time ever using it. It's about a $35 razor, I believe. It just came out within the last several months. I didn't get it because 
the head design just kind of looks a little weird with those feet. And plus it's a Zamac razor and I have, I like to go with the uh, stronger metals usually. If I ever hear though of a Zamac razor that is giving awesome performance, then you know, I might get one. I might pick it up. I do really like the handle design on this one though. I think that's pretty cool. Girthy, it's got a lot of weight to it. It's uh, definitely a solid core. So right now, one of the things that you're doing when you're lathering up, you're trying to lift up those hairs, but you're also just giving your hairs a chance to uh, soften up by letting that soap kind of engulf them for a few minutes while you lay on your first pass. So if you find uh, that you're doing a really quick shave and maybe you're not getting a good enough shave, uh, see if you can slow it down and give that first pass a chance to sit on your face for just a little bit longer. See if you get different results that you like. All right, oh yeah, that smells good. Man, that's nice. Just a really good, good scent. All right, first time with the Marvel. Oh, that's smooth. Now you can, you can hear the cutting. You can kind of feel the blade edge. Yeah, you can, a little bit. That's, I think that's a really well-designed razor head. The handle, it is chromed, and I do feel a little less confident when it's wet in my hands. Maybe that would improve with use, but uh, as you can see, if you look on the side here, this part is what contacts your face, so there's a good bit of the top cap and a good bit of the safety bar that are kind of touching you at the same time. And often that does result in a smooth shave. If you think to the uh, Razor Rock Baby, uh, Baby Smooth, for instance. Now this is not a, uh, it doesn't really feel like a mild razor. It feels like it's being pretty efficient. But it does have a positive exposure. I believe I was able to see um, the blade edge uh, coming coming past the top cap and the uh, safety bar just a little bit and so it's, it does have a positive exposure it's not recessed back between those two uh, nice nice first pass really impressed with the razor let's check out our lather a little bit this time show you the viscosity there we go Looks like it'll be plenty to do the job. Let's pull it up and just see how it stretches. Nice, oh yeah, that's really good. Long peaks, see how it drops. Wiggle and oh yeah, nice long stretch before it drops. And then when it drops, it kind of collapsed a little bit. Um, that, I'm not saying every soap needs to do that for me, um, but some formulations that means it's right where I want it to be a little water out of my beard I don't want it flushing out my lather yesterday's shave I believe was was the uh, vintage Gillette old type so I'm experiencing a little bit of rawness over here because I got cut like three four times total on my face and last time that happened it's a couple of years ago it's been a long time but the uh, Wizomet Iridium super extra stainless blade just did not work well in that razor for me at all. All right, man, what a good scent. Just understated, confident, 
the vetiver is not super strong, but it's there. That woody and the vetiver, I believe those are the two notes that are really dominant, that uh, they're playing really well together. If you didn't uh, if you didn't tell me what it was, I may not be able to guess uh, because they're just they're blending so well it might be hard to discern. I mean, I don't have a super educated nose about that sort of thing. All right, second pass. Fairly quiet razor. You, you do hear a little bit of noise. Um, the, the underside is supported kind of close to the edge of the blade. Maybe uh, four millimeters, something like that. Uh, a lot of razors don't get nearly that close, and so that's probably why it's as quiet as it is. Well, it's been pretty intuitive for me, it seems, to find the sweet spot, the uh, correct handle angle. And it's even treating my harsh step areas from the last shave well. Very nice, very nice. Uh, mostly a rinse there. I don't do a full rinse. The, uh, I think this lather right here, the consistency is just perfect. I'm enjoying it during the shave. Um, I think it's just perfect. And the knot is splaying more. And I'm sure that will get just a little bit better as the uses accumulate. Badgers don't change sometimes very much, but they do change a little, especially regarding the, the splay opening up. And so therefore they'll lose a little bit of the backbone. All right. Yeah, that's a good scent. To me, that's a scent that probably gonna last a very long time. Instant classic, put it that way. Now, I am experiencing a, a little bit of slowness with the razor, and that's probably because of all that metal contact that we talked about. And But it's not really a slowness that bothers me at all. I'm able to move at a normal pace. Um, there's just a tiny bit of, of drag, which is fine. And remember, this is 15 uses on this blade. A lot more than a lot of guys put on their blades because they've been conditioned to throw it away after five uses or whatever. Uh, often you'll see me do that stroke right there and I'm tilting the razor a little bit and then going vertical. It's kind of being a slant in, when I do that. And I do it because my hair growth is this way. And so by, I've already shaved this a couple of passes. And so on the third pass, I might do this kind of stroke and it puts a slight against the grain aspect to it. But because it's a slanted motion, it doesn't give me any irritation, but it gives me a nice close shave across that, that section. Closeness looks good. I am going to uh, do that because I stopped and talked to you. kind of feel like that area uh, dried out a little bit um, for this particular stroke. Oh, yeah, nice. That's very nice. Very good. Sometimes that stroke has a little uh, tenderness or uh, aggressive feel to it in certain areas. All right, I'm gonna rinse this third pass off. So that's a nice razor head. I like it. It's got 
uh, I'd say it's mid-range between uh, closeness, um, aggression, you know, that sort of thing, um, efficient cutting, and smoothness and comfort. I think it's right along the middle. I think it's a fabulous design in terms of the geometry used with the different angles and gaps and things like that. Uh, I'll show you a close-up of the kind of the gap there. There you can see the blade edge. Um, it's actually kind of a, a big amount of gap between, but as you can see, because it's so because it's bowed and because you've got this angle here, it uh, makes it not feel like a really aggressive razor. And this, this these pontoons that it looks like underneath are actually kind of cut out a little bit under there. Um, and it's not a whole solid block, but it kind of looks that way from the side. All right, very nice. How much soap do I have left over? Maybe two passes. Pretty cool. I guess I can back off with the load time just a little bit. How much water did we use? Three teaspoons of water. All right, very nice. Sterling soap. It's an excellent value. You, uh, here's it. Here it is again. Uh, Nonprofit to uh, benefit. Uh, the uh, Responders for Life uh, charity uh, help those guys out. They uh, dedicate a lot to us, a lot of unselfishness, and, uh, and I, I appreciate it along with a bunch of other people. And so we, um, they, they made Sterling uh, made this soap, and uh, the proceeds, the, the time that uh, uh, he, uh, what, Rod, I believe. Uh, and I think his wife Mandy, their time for developing the soap was uh, donated um, to the charity, the uh, as well as the proceeds. So very cool of them. Just high 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 marks for being good character people. So uh, it's a wonderful weather. As you can see, it's very stable. It's not going anywhere. It's not evaporating or getting uh, thin or anything like that. Some people have had a problem with that. I think that usually means you need more water in your soap. Maybe even more soap and water. All right, well, I'm going to clean up. See you in a bit. So here this guy is. After a little bit of stropping on the towel, you may be able to see those kind of soft tips, a little fuzzy on the tip instead of a point. And uh, who knows, this may get gel tips. Um, but uh, I'm glad I raised the knot up a little bit. It changed it. Not very much, but a little bit in my favor in terms of allowing more splay. And I'm, I'm really happy about that. I think that was the right move. I'm enjoying the softness a lot. I think this uh, Badger, if, even if you don't change the handles, um, I think it's a great entry into the world of Badger if you maybe started with synthetics like a lot of new people do. Um, or you, you've, you've enjoyed bores, but you want something a little more dense little something with more soft tips then I think this is a great way to do it it's not very expensive um, I even bought a, uh, a sec factory seconds brush from sterling that's what this one is and uh, it had actually shed some hairs a few more hairs than they like to see when they comb it out but I haven't had that problem so I just lucked out right so it's very cool so I saved about 10 bucks on the on the brush uh, which made it just a tremendous deal um, it is this one is batting way above its price point. So if you want a, um, so these both have tremendously soft tips. This is a silver tip, and this is the uh, two band or finest badger. And you can see the difference in the three bands of color, white, dark, white, and then white, dark. Um, this one has a lot less backbone and it's, a le it's less dense. And so the, the density and all the fibers don't contribute to that backbone. So this one has more flow through. It's got more cloud-like comfort uh, for your face. Whereas this one stays more into this shape. Uh, but it does deliver those nice soft hairs all over your face. And so they're both comfortable. Very comfortable. Uh, with a luxurious feel. Um, and I'm, they're both capable of stirring up any kind of soap. Some people like firmer brushes with harder soap so you put water in there and it just mix it up anyway no matter what softness of bristle there might be to, in my opinion at least 
Um, so they're both really comfortable and luxurious, just what type you like, whether you like the cloud-like um, or whether you like a little bit more backbone, but with some crazy soft tips. So I'm really happy with my Sterling gear today. Wasn't able to use a Sterling razor because they don't really put out any. I think they do resell uh, some, some zinc razors on their site. Uh, they're just rebranded something else, you know. Um, but I just heard yesterday that they're going to put out a, stir, a stainless steel razor and that looked really cool. I didn't particularly like the handle design. Uh, I like the knurling a lot, but they had this long, um, this kind of long section of kind of skinny, uh, unknurled stuff before you got to the handle and the handle looked longer than this one. Uh, but that knurling down here at this bottom part looked really nice. Um, I probably would not get the handle, but maybe they'll sell the head only. And the head looked really solid. And knowing them, it's not going to be some crazy price. It's going to be something reasonable. So people will get be able to get a, a, a lifetime, a multi-lifetime razor uh, from them. And uh, make the whole shave be sterling if you want. Uh, I think it's awesome how they uh, give you uh, almost six ounces of soap for um, the price that most vendors charge for three or four ounces and it's a as you saw nice performing soap uh, the post shave qualities are nice I'm, I don't feel the need to put any on I could walk away I do have oily skin but uh, you know I, I it feels good it's not drying or anything like that to me uh, but speaking of that I ordered the uh, I think with this uh, uh, offer you had to order both the soap and the splash and so I usually don't order splashes but I did this time and I'm glad I did because it's nice and I, it was good to support a, a very worthy cause and this is like most Sterling splashes a very alcohol based splash so I'm expect, especially getting some tingling over here when that with those cuts from yesterday ah, so even with the alcohol evaporating, it's a nice scent. All right, let's clean up. Wow, really happy with the razor. That, uh, the head design, really like it. A little draggy, but I think that also uh, comes with the territory when you make it uh, almost fool foolproof. You, uh, I don't think people are gonna cut themselves too much on this razor. I think those, uh, these nice big metal sections Will, will help you to experience a smooth shave and have kind of close to the right angle. I think maybe if it doesn't cut, it's, uh, I mean, if, if you don't have the right angle, it's just not going to cut, that sort of thing. Uh, but I think it's nice and efficient as well. I'm really happy with the closeness I got. Trouble spot here, um, just just the very tips of the hairs is what I see, the, the, the dots that come from the uh, from being shaven pretty, pretty much flush. So that's really good for me and everywhere else. It's a very nice, very nice shave. I want to note that the uh, build quality on these guys is not perfection. Um, you know, that hole is a little off center. Um, and, and it didn't, um, it actually feels like the drill maybe that made the hole, the tap or whatever, it was a little off, but, uh, but you, you can really tell during the shave. And so that doesn't matter to me very much, but I didn't want to mention it, but you, you're also not paying for a perfection price. You're, you're paying for, uh, you know, a 30 or $40 razor, $35 razor. That's going to feel good and do the job. And that's exactly what I got. Um, you can definitely expect more precision, uh, with this kind of thing. Um, you can expect that to be a problem if it's a, you know, hundred dollar razor or something more like that. So I just wanted to mention it. Uh, so I am really happy with this uh, with this razor here. Let me uh, let me give you a little tour. So here's the handle. Um, I did get used to holding it. It wasn't super grippy like with a, uh, those handles that have knurling. Um, but all you have to do is rinse the handle off and you're you're fine. Um, it does have the uh, the fine logo at the bottom of it. Then the, uh, here's the base plate. 
and you can see these these rails right here is what the blade is clamped down on and that's how far it supports the blade to the edge which is more than a lot of uh, these kind of kind of razors these three pieces and so that's why it, uh, it wasn't nearly as noisy and then what you couldn't see before is the bottom part and you can see how those they hollowed out these pontoons here a little bit you know not much to it but uh, when you get a good geometry as the vintage Gillette Tex will tell you you don't have to have a bunch of fancy stuff and the top cap is pretty standard uh, these bevels here are what hold the blade down onto those rails that I showed you and then they did flatten the top a little bit whether it's for aesthetics or just ease of getting under uh, you know some guys have to shave the mustache area and so this might allow them to get under their nose a little easier but it's a kind of a flat top it probably helped the handle it probably helped the razor to have a little better look because if you had these kind of pontoons going on and then you had an arch over here that might might look a little funny it screws in uh, pretty well not as nice as one of the expensive razors but it's not as expensive who really cares about how something screws in right and it'll get smoother over time i have a feeling this one was a little bit uh, rough and catchy uh, in, a, in a very small way um, just because it hasn't been used too many times so there we go i may not enjoy the look of this um, but i sure enjoy the shave and if I had this razor for the rest of my life, I, I don't think I'd have a problem with that at all. Nice, efficient, but also smooth and comfortable. And this is with a 15-use blade that many people would be have thrown out by now. But as you know, if you've watched any of my videos, we, uh, we take ra razor blades a lot farther because there's this nice smooth zone that you can get into if you don't throw it away right away. All right, uh, really happy with the brush. Looking forward to watching this guy uh, you know keep opening up just a little bit more uh, and I think I'm very happy with that so um, razor was a I kind of expected it to work well um, and so I, it wasn't really too much of a surprise the uh, I knew the soap was good aftershave scent is even stronger and I'm really enjoying it uh, scent strength on the soap four out of ten maybe somewhere around there um really happy with today's today's lineup so a uh, lather games salute to a cologne inspired fragrance and there we go um yeah i've already put on my post shave so we could say goodbye because everything's taken care of uh, this is sugar daddy shave i hope there's been something here that uh, that you've enjoyed or that has helped you out uh, you take care and good day